What's up guys, my name is Alex and welcome to Let's Talk where I talk about all things queer that have interested me in the past week. So let's get into this video. So the first couple things that I want to talk about are in regards to web series. So the first one is All For One. Now I didn't talk about this last week because I didn't actually make a Let's Talk last week. Um, because there wasn't much happening so I thought I'd just put that stuff into this video. Anyway, so All For One, as you guys may or may not know, is a web series on Kinda TV. Now Kinda, Kinda TV uh, features web series like Camilla, which you guys probably heard me talk about every once in a while. Uh, so yeah, the season one have already out, obviously. You guys can go check it out. If you haven't seen it already, I'll have that in the description. Um, but All For One is amazing. It's it's a really cute show and I adore it so much. Um, and currently they've got a Indiegogo, I believe it is. Is it Indiegogo? Yeah. Yeah, Indiegogo campaign sort of running right now to fund season two. Uh, so that's really exciting. So if you guys would like to go check that out and maybe fund it, help fund it. <laughs> I don't think you could fund it all by yourself. But if you want to go to help at all, I'll have a link to that campaign in the description uh, for you guys to go check out. Next thing I want to talk about is Couplish because Couplish started back up uh, this week. Uh, it was just yesterday, wasn't it? Yeah, it was yesterday. Um, so season two started up and you know, I'm keen. I love it. I love both Sharon and Caitlin. So yeah, it's, um, yeah, I'm excited to see where they go with season two. Um, see, the first episode was very cute. Well, the first scene was, yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's, 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 I, yeah, I just, I love it. I don't know what else I could say without saying I love it more. Um, so I'll have a link to the first episode of season two if you guys want to go check that out. If you guys haven't seen first season, that's up on their uh, YouTube channel, so you can just go binge watch that as well if you want. Um, but yeah, that's my web series update. Okay, now let's talk about June because June is getting even gayer. Like, I've been talking about all the TV shows coming out for uh, June because there's a lot and it's... June is just... Just super gay. And it's gotten even gayer somehow, which I'm so, so excited for. So Halsey announced her new album, I believe it is. It's called Hopeless... What is it? Hopeless Fountain Kingdom. <laughs> Yeah, Hopeless Fountain Kingdom. So that drops on June 2nd. So that's exciting. But also, also, um, on that album is going to be a song that uh, she is is working with Lauren Haregi with. And oh, oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> Palsy and Lauren. Oh my god, my dreams are just coming true. <laughs> so that is definitely exciting. I'm sure you can go pre-order it on maybe iTunes and Spotify. I haven't pre-ordered um, something music in ever. Actually, I don't think. I just sort of get it when it comes up on Spotify. So I would assume you can pre-order if you're one of the people that like to pre-order stuff. Um, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just I'm just getting massively pumped for June. <laughs> it's uh, it's going to be awesome. <laughs> Okay, and on to the last bit of thing that I want to talk about, and my god, I have some feels. Some feels. The next thing that I want to talk about is called The Handmaid's Tale. Uh, I believe I talked about this a little while ago when it was announced. Um, I believe I talked about it because it was announced that, um, uh, what's, what's her name? Alexis something. She plays Rory from Gilmore Girls. So her character in this, in this um, series uh, was, uh, they announced that the, her character was going to be gay. And so I talked about that, uh, in a Les talk. Of, it must have been a couple of months ago now. It was a while ago that I talked about it. Anyway, so, The Handmaid's Tale, Handmaid's Tale, <laughs> wow, words. The Handmaid's Tale was released, uh, Wednesday last week. And I have some feels. So the first three episodes were released and it's getting released every Wednesday, obviously, but I'm not entirely sure about the schedule. Like, I don't know if it's three episodes every week or if it's just, you know, uh, uh, an episode a week from now on and they just released three at the start. I'm really not sure how it's going. But anyway, I've watched the first three episodes and I have a lot of feels. <laughs> so I feel like, um... As a general rule, I'm going to say I would recommend watching it if you guys haven't yet. I, yeah, I would say I would recommend watching it at the minute. So far, my feels on it so far, I would say I would recommend it. I do have to say, I watched the first two episodes um, the night it was released. Um, and I was intrigued, but I was also, I got a bit bored. 
by the end of it, I was like, this is an interesting concept, but I don't know if you guys can keep me interested for however many episodes is left. Like, the the idea intrigued me, but by the end of episode two, I was like, I don't really know if this is a TV show for me. Like, I couldn't really understand the hype for the show. Then episode three happened. I watched episode three the day after, because I was like, well, it's a, it's a heavy series. Um, so I was like, I'll just watch the, the third episode the next day, and I did. And the third episode hooked me. It did hook me. <laughs> so if you're like me, I would say, Watch all three episodes before you make your mind up because the first two intrigued me for sure, but it was the third episode that hooked me. There's a couple queer stories in it. It's just, <sighs> yeah, there is a lot of feels in regards to this show, my God. I, it's just, yeah, I, it's, it's a heavy show and I have to, I've seen a lot of people say this and honestly, I agree with them. This show, this, this universe that the show take, takes place in, it's probably like the, the most terrifying universe I've ever seen. Like, more terrifying than any horror or zombie or sci-fi universe that I've ever seen in a series or movie or whatever. It's terrifying because I can actually see this happening and like, there's just no escape, you know? Like at least in a zombie universe, you know, I you you get good at fighting and you just you just murder the zombies, you know? You got it, you got it. You, you're gonna keep on going, you just, Kill the zombies, you got this. But this one, I just, there's like, oh. I, I don't know where they're taking it. I never read the books. And my friend that read the book, there was only one book, wasn't there? My friend that read the book, she said it sort of ended on a cliffhanger. So I don't know where they're taking it. I hope they sort of show more of the rebellion, I guess, from the handmaids, um, from women in general, I guess. I would like to see that sort of story played out, but... From what I heard, it doesn't really go too much into that in the book, but I hope they do that in the series. Um, but yeah, I there is just so many conflicting feels about this series. Uh, but yeah, I would definitely recommend uh, watching it if you haven't yet. I would really love to know your thoughts on the series if you have seen it. Um, and if you've, if you've read the book as well, your thoughts in regards to what's going to happen. Because I heard... Um, <sighs> Yeah, I don't know. I heard there's a, a few character deaths, but I really don't want them to happen in the series. <laughs> um, but we'll see how it goes. I hope I hope it's not too uh, copy and paste straight from the book, you know? It, the series takes its own sort of route, hopefully. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts on that. You may have noticed that I've been wearing uh, glasses this episode, and that is because of the beautiful Patreon sponsor, Sheila. So, ah, oh. <laughs> if you guys uh, did not see it, I did a live stream yesterday. I live streamed uh, some Outlast 2, which was terrifying, and people decided to scare the shit out of me in that in that stream. I'll probably make it public at some point during the week, so you guys can go see it if you like. Um, but Sheila um, said, if I, because I was wearing my glasses, obviously, I wear my glasses to game. She's like, I didn't realize you wore glasses. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, I do when I'm editing or playing games or whatever. Uh, I don't really need it for videos, but you know, <laughs> she's like, I will up my Patreon sponsor if you wear glasses in your videos. And I was like, okay, done deal. So Sheila is my very first Patreon sponsor. Um, it's just incredible. I just, ah! So if you guys would like to check out how to become a Patreon sponsor, uh, like Sheila, that you can go check out my, my Patreon, which is in the description. Um, if you'd like to pledge anything, anything would help. Um, yeah. I'll be uh, announcing my May giveaway soon. I'm pretty excited about this, uh, this giveaway this month. Um, I'll be announcing the winner of the April Klexa Pop giveaway very soon. Um, so make sure to check your messages if you um, pledge $5 more on Patreon you might have a message from me in the next couple days. Eh? But yeah, so uh, there's lots of exciting things happening on my Patreon. So if you guys would like to join in on the funness, go check out my Patreon page. And I tested out some streams some live streaming stuff on my YouTube channel this weekend. And I'm planning on doing that a regular thing because my God, that was so much fun. So I'll try and figure out a schedule, but yeah. Um, yeah, if you guys want to keep up to date with that, I tweet about it on my Twitter, obviously, so, uh, yeah. But I think that's about it from me today. I hope you guys had an amazing day, an amazing weekend, and I'll see you guys in my Supergirl uh, recap video for Alex. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Also, if you guys want to see a reaction video to that, I will be doing a reaction video to that 
also over my Patreon. Um, but yeah, well, I'll see you guys in my next video. Okay, bye.